All right, folks, week three NFL predictions. Let's do them. The only way to do it is trudge through, plow, and get going. First up, Houston at New England in our Thursday night game of the week. Which I think is also on Twitter. If you haven't tried watching the game on Twitter, it's great. You know, it's one of the best uh, ideas, best innovations in sports since probably the color puck that Fox used for NHL. No, wait, that was a terrible idea. Okay, never mind. This is actually good. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, anyway, uh, Houston and New England. Uh, looks like we got uh, Houston as a one-point favorite. Over-under is 40. Let's keep the over-under under 40. Uh, and points per Well, Houston went by a point. What I'm seeing is how uh, New England doesn't have uh, Tom Brady or even Jimmy Garoppolo in the lineup. They've got, what's his name? Like Brissett? Something Brissett, who's playing quarterback. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Houston to win this one. I'm going to have them winning it by at least a touchdown. So I'm going to go uh, minus seven for Houston. They should win this one pretty handily, even in uh, Patriot territory. Arizona at Buffalo. Uh, Arizona, obviously, one of the best offensive teams in the league. And Buffalo is evident by their game against uh, the Jets last Thursday. Don't like to play defense anymore. Yeah, Arizona's going to win this one. Looks like the listing here is 47 over under. I'm going to actually go over that, but just barely. And uh, they got Arizona as four-point favorites. Mm, I say bump that up, make them seven-point favorites. Actually, I'll probably even go higher than that. I'd probably go like probably ten, but seven is a good conservative estimate. Oakland at Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, they're a point and a half favorites. The over/under is forty-seven. Come on now, we saw the Raiders games. They're giving up five hundred yards of offense a game. These things are score fest. Definitely going to be over. But even then, I like the Raiders as the upset. I think they go in there and they win, and they win by a field goal. Give them plus three. All right, let's keep moving along here. we got Cleveland at Miami. Miami is a nine-and-a-half point favorite. The over-under is 42. Let's keep it under 42. I don't know. I Giving Miami almost 10 points. And a, well, and both these teams are winless, by the way. Um... Yeah, that just seems way too high. I would give it to them by a field goal. But Miami wins, minus three. Baltimore at Jacksonville. Man, this is a tough, tough, tough one to call. Like every line I'm seeing right now is even. Uh, Over-under is 47. Let's go under. I'm going to go with Jacksonville by a field goal. Just got a feeling it's in home territory. The Ravens aren't that good. Just got a feeling. Detroit at Green Bay. If this were game of being held in Detroit, I might be tilted toward the Lions. But, uh, you know, Green Bay has had that loss. They're looking to get some revenge. Uh, Green Bay is a 7.5 point favorite. Over under is 47.5 points. Uh, let's keep the, the over under above 47.5 points. I think there's going to be a lot of points scored in this one. And I got Green Bay winning. But I don't have them winning by a whole lot. I, I give it to them by 6. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Denver at Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati, three and a half point favorites. Over under is 41. Definitely keep the over under at 41. It should be a defensive struggle. And I'm going to go the opposite here. I'm going to go with Denver. I think uh, they got a really good defense. They can strip the ball away. And I don't really like uh, the offensive line for the Bengals. So I'm going to give it to Denver. Three and a half points. Take them. Minnesota at Carolina. Uh, like I said, if we were being played in Minnesota, I'd go towards the Vikings, but having that home field advantage for Carolina, I think it's pretty big. Uh, Carolina is a seven-point favorite. Over-under is 43. I'll take both of those. No reason to get risky. Washington at the New York Giants. Hmm. Hmm. Are the Redskins really going to start the season 0-3? and, oh and three? Or are the Giants actually going to start the season 3-0? and oh? It seems like both these things should not possibly happen. Um, Giants, four and a half point favorites. It's in the Meadowlands. Over under is 46. Let's keep the over under. Under 46. I'm going to take the Giants winning by one point. You know, just make it narrow. You know, no need to make it dramatic. But uh, it should be a close game. Giants win. LA Rams at Tampa Bay. 
five and a half uh, point favorites are Tampa Bay over under is 41 and a half because the Rams don't score a whole lot of points that's probably going to still be the case I take I like the 41 and a half under and as far as Tampa Bay winning it by five I don't think it's going to be that high let's give it to them by three and they win by a field goal San Fran at Seattle uh, Seattle is a nine and a half point favor but for some reason the Seahawks just don't have an offense they can't find the end zone to save their lives and I think San Francisco actually played pretty well through three quarters against Carolina before the wheels fell off the wagon. Uh, you know what? Let's live dangerously. They've got uh, Seattle as a nine and a half point favorite. Uh, over under is 40. I'm going to say go. No, keep it under 40. I'm going to say uh, San Fran, they're nine and a half point underdogs. Take the points. I think the 49ers can win by, you know, nine points. So there you go. That's my upset of the week. Go in the Niners to win that one. Oh, boy. Oh, that'll get you some money because if you're doing this, like, just a straight money line, you go out and you bet nine and a half points on San Francisco, that'll get you 350. I mean, that that's it's not bad. That's a lot of hours at Burger King otherwise. Just saying. But betting wrong. Don't ever do it. Go on the stock market where you can lose way more money and, uh, Destroy your family that way. Individual rights. Okay, so Jets at Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City are minus three. The over-under is 42 and a half. I'm going to go over. Um, how many over the Jets winning now? I'm going to go with uh, plus three. I think they, they get the upset here. No real reason. They're on a hot streak in Kansas City. They're having trouble getting their offense going. So go with Jets. San Diego and Indianapolis. Indianapolis is uh, in their home state. They are three-point favorites. Over-under is 52. Let's keep the over-under under 52. I'm going to give the points to San Diego. I think they, they go in there and get an upset. Plus three sounds about right. Pittsburgh at Philadelphia. Both undefeated. The Battle of Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is a three-and-a-half-point underdog. Remember, it's being played in Eagles territory. Uh, yeah, I'm still going Pittsburgh. Give it three and a half. Sounds about right. 46 over under. Take it under. And I got Pittsburgh went by three. Probably, yeah, three sounds good. Chicago at Dallas. Because why not put Chicago in another primetime game? Uh, Dallas, seven and a half point favorites over is 44 and a half. I definitely say go under 44 and a half. And I still think 7.5 is way too high for Dallas. I think they'll win by 6 points. No real reason to dispute that. And, of course, our Monday night game, uh, Atlanta and New Orleans. New Orleans is a 3-point favorite. Atlanta has a hard time in the Superdome. That, that's a tough place to win in. 53.5 is over-under. I say go above. Uh, New Orleans, they're winning by 3 points. I say take it. I think the Saints will win. So... Once again, to recap my NFL picks, I'm going to take Houston over New England, taking Arizona over Buffalo, Oakland over Tennessee, I'm taking Miami over Cleveland, I'm taking Jacksonville over Baltimore, Green Bay over Detroit, I'm going with Denver over Cincinnati, I've got Carolina over Minnesota, uh, the Giants over Washington, Tampa Bay over L.A., my upset special of the week, going with San Fran over Seattle. I've got uh, the Jets over Kansas City, San Diego over Indy, Pittsburgh over Philadelphia, Dallas over Chicago, and the Monday night game, going with the Saints over the Falcons. So there you go. Those are my picks. Uh, feel free to run with them. Feel free to not run with them. It's a free country. You can do whatever you want, including not watch this video if you don't want to. Nobody's stopping you.